pass to Hill. Duncan. Quick move into the paint. Draws a foul. Brendan Haywood with his first. And that's the Mavericks' first team foul with almost eight and a half minutes being played here in this first quarter. As aggressive as they have been, that's where Duncan, when Duncan faces up, he wants to go to his right hand from the left side of the floor. He loves to go there. And he did get the call. He's very, very good at that. You want to force him baseline from the left side of the floor. And when he spins back over that left shoulder, then you can send a double team man at him. Duncan is shooting 50% on free throws in this series. And he just missed. He's now 11 of 23. Just dropped under 50%. A lot of lineup changes here for Dallas. Berea, Terry, and Nahara have all gone into the game. Only staying on the floor. Marion and Dirk. Kidd, Haywood, and Butler all subbed out. And had he been suspended, obviously it would have been a different case. But Rick Carlisle did talk about after the game on Sunday night and after what Carlisle called the aggressive play against Monte Ginobili, which rightly resulted in a flagrant two foul and an ejection. Yes, it was the right call. But no suspension. And he said he's going to have to look at playing Nahara more because of his aggressiveness, because he thinks simply that Dallas has been the passive team much too often in this series. And Dallas will get it back. Morea missed a shot, but the Mavs get it on an offensive rebound. It's another 100% effort on a 50% opportunity. And it will result in an opportunity for a second chance scoring. Oh, no, this will not be in the act of shooting. The foul is on the floor on Richard Jefferson. Jawan Blair goes in now, and he's a guy who's been very instrumental for San Antonio in getting a lot of those 50-50 plays. Maybe oh. the person who's been the most instrumental. Some words between Duncan and Nahara. Do you see that? Duncan went by Nahara and said something and kept and Nahara just kept talking to Duncan all the way as he walked away That's good. They need a little bit of that. It's bringing that uh, Sean Connery and the untouchables bringing that little element to the game Let's make it uh, make it a little bit of a street fight Nahara was going into the game because Blair was at the scorers table even when Duncan was shooting those free throws San Antonio scored six straight Making a move on Bonner, it's Dirk. Dishes outside, a little off target on the pass. Barea then to Terry. Quick move, fouled. Absorbs a pretty big hit by DeJuan Blair, but right back up to his feet. That's what you want. That's exactly what you want. Go to the basket, take the contact, go to the free throw line. You're the best free throw shooting team in the NBA. That's the first foul on Blair, and Jason Terry will get two free throws after a timeout on the floor. 2.56 left in the first quarter. Mavericks lead San Antonio, 18-14. They get most of them. It's so hard to win because you get scoring opportunities. See, you keep it up, you get it back, you've got another opportunity to score the ball. And I love that team effort, especially on the McDice clip. He's done such a good job of knocking out loose balls in the series. Mavericks teaming up to make sure they get that defensive rebound resulted in a Butler jumper. In addition to getting those loose balls, you also have three steals by Dallas so far tonight. They averaged seven steals per game in the first four games of the series. And during the regular season, Dallas was a team that just cracked the top ten, number ten overall in the league, at 7.6 steals per game in the regular season. One and two on the free throw line for Chase and Terry. Tony Parker rebounds. So the Mavericks up their lead to five. They end a six-love San Antonio run. Roger Mason went in before the timeout. He gave the ball up to Tony Parker, who makes a hard drive to the basket to finish. He loves the pick and roll from the left side of the floor. Ginobili loves the pick and roll from the right side of the floor because of Ginobili's left hand and Parker's right hand. Barea off the dirt kick. Late in the shot clock down to seven. Driving on Mason. Dirt gets free to the hoop. To the basket once again. But he did it quickly. Not allowing the double team to take place. Bob Mavericks have nine baskets tonight. Five of them in the paint. There you go. Bonner. Three pointers no good. Barea rebounds. <laughs> Bluffing the shot, Dirk got tripped up for a moment. Under two minutes left in the first quarter. Baseline jumper, Butler again. 
Where was that for the last two games of the series? Kalon Butler with 12 in the first quarter on 5 of 7 shooting. It has a lot to do with aggressiveness. And from what we've seen so far, I'm assuming he just left it here as we went to San Antonio last week. Bonner again for three. This one settles in. we got a close on him. That's the only thing he can do. He's a one-dimensional player. He's a spot-up, catch-and-shoot, jump shooter. Dirk over Bonner. Was trying to draw a foul. Blair with a defensive rebound. Bonner got him down low. He was able to make contact with Dirk down low. That's a smart, smart place to go. Parker had it stripped. And the Mavericks come away with it. Fourth steal of the game for Dallas. Credit that one to Barea. Jason Terry in the lane. Hacks with 102 left in the first quarter. Foul on to Juan Blair for his second. Spurs are over the limit, and once again, a consistent theme early on as Dallas getting inside. Well, they've talked about it, but the more important thing is the Mavericks are adhering to it. Yes, talking about it is one thing. Doing it, a much different story. Amen, brothers. But I like that commitment because there's some bumping and some nudging going on. It's, it's a little physical, and the refs haven't called a whole lot of fouls, so that should tell the Mavs that they got to be committed to it, take those blows, and they'll earn what they get at the free throw line. Out of the game, Dirk. Returning to the game, Sean Marion. So Dirk gets his first rest of the night with almost 11 minutes having been played. This would give the Mavericks seven free throw attempts in the first quarter compared to just two for San Antonio. Jason Terry has all three of his points at the line here in the first quarter. Parker with 15 to shoot. He goes left this time on the drive and a foul called by Monty McCutcheon on Berea. For Berea, that's his first. Dallas had that foul to give. It's the first of the last two minutes with 50.4 left in the first quarter. Looks like there's a little bit of whining underneath the basket. The Spurs didn't like the extra contact that Nahara gave after the foul on Tony Parker. But Nahara, of course, just making sure that ball didn't go in. But what's going on? I'm, I'm going over here. I'm good. <laughs> The intensity of the playoffs. Eddie will not back down. Parker trying to drive on Nalar. Goes it up off the glass. Doesn't get the roll. Butler comes out of the pack with a rebound. Drives on Richard Jefferson. Falling down trying to draw a foul. Doesn't get it to go. Got a little anxious. That's not a good possession right there. Might have been trying too hard to get the two-for-one situation, Butler. Meanwhile, at the other end, San Antonio gets a score inside from Tony Parker. Spurs do have 10 bench points as Parker has two baskets and Bonner has two three-pointers. Terry weaves his way into the paint. Fumble by Marion. Shot will still bounce in with 3.4 left. That's Marion's second basket. Roger Mason pulls up, off-balance shot. His way off target. First quarter is over in game five. And the Mavericks putting on a pretty good show so far for the home crowd. After 12 minutes, Dallas leads San Antonio 27-21. It's Mavs game night on TXA 21 and also on NBA TV. We say hello to our audience around the country tonight. The Spurs are trying to end Dallas' season. But the Mavericks not willing to go quietly so far on this one. The Mavericks lead most of the first quarter, led by Karan Butler. They're in front by six. Force it in between the Mavs. If we freeze it there, there's a great shot. Look at all these Mav guys just ready to get up and down the court. Jason Kidd throws it ahead. Here's a fast break. This guy's been incredible in the first quarter. Karan Butler being super aggressive. Right to the 10, gets the and one. I'll tell you what, easy to do in the first quarter. The crowd's behind you. You got a lot of energy. Let's see if they can keep it up for the rest of the basketball game. All right, Bones, Karan Butler, 12 points on 5 of 8 in that first quarter. And the Dallas Mavericks going back to work here in quarter number two. Sean Marion puts it down, and they're loving it at the AAC in Big D. Back to follow Will Ortigal at all. Right back to Tony Parker. Parker in the lane. Pretty good position by Berea. He made it difficult for Parker, and that's what you want to do. 
Both teams are now shooting 50%. Correa changed his direction and gets into the lane. A shot in the paint again for Sean Marion rolls in. What I like about what Sean's doing right now is he's defending and he's made some baskets. He hasn't hesitated after missing some early. That's eight out of 13 baskets for Dallas in the paint.